We can't deny that this episode 3 was very good and had some parts that made us laugh and other parts that surprised us a lot. Several things happened that are very important to understand the next episode. That's why today I'm going to talk to you. Alchemy of Souls Season 2, Episode 3 Explained. But first remember to subscribe to this channel so you can follow everything that happens in this great series. We first saw Jangwook with Naksu in the assembly. The elders were upset with Jangwook because they said he was abusing his power. At that moment one of them understood that his power is not only because of his sword, but because he has the energy of the heavens and the ice stone. Jinmu told Jangwook that he had to bring a witness to prove that he was really married, and Naksu came up with the brilliant idea of saying that his witness was her child because she was pregnant. This was really very comical and original on her part. We saw that in all this although Naksu did not want her supposed mother to suffer, she is sure that she does not want to live locked up. The assembly said that now that Jangwook is part of the Jin family they don't see the need to move Jinyuan's relics since they will be safe because of him. Ho Yan keeps quiet because she really didn't expect what's happening. While Jin Mu sarcastically tells her that thanks to Jangwook, Jin Yuan is protected. We see Yul worried because he heard that Buyan gave her heart to Jangwook. He asks Dangu if he thinks Wook could really forget Mudok and is now in love with someone else. Dangu tells him no, that it's absurd. Yul most likely asks him that because he is attracted to her and also because he thinks about his past love Naksu who he still hasn't been able to forget. There is a very interesting scene and that is when Naksu touches the sword. We can see that when she touches it memories of the past Naksu come to her, when she was an assassin, something that was to be expected because her own soul was able to connect with an object from her past. And of course she saw a scene with blood because she specifically touches her sword. Now, she then inadvertently touched the lantern and turned it back on. This is very interesting because we already know that she can light this lantern which is a Jean family heirloom, but at the same time she could feel for a moment Naksu's actions. This can greatly mean that the souls of the two are connected. As I had said in other videos, I mean souls, because Master Lee said that Buyan's body had no power. So in other words, what has power is her soul. This may mean that their souls can still be connected, only the main soul will always be Naxu's. We see the scene where Naxu is in a lot of pain behind her shoulder and it's because of the thread Ho Yan put on her. She manages with the same relic she used for the bracelet, only now the thread is on her skin and it causes her pain. But then thanks to Jangwook she could be free from the pain because the relic broke. Jin Mu realized that the supposed Buyan is the same face as Naksu, but it has a different aura. He realizes that Naksu was neither delicate nor small. So he wants to know more about Buyan, and so he will use Soe to find out more about her. Soe is in charge of taking medicine to relieve Yul's pain because otherwise he may die. But Jean Mu believes that she is the one who still has the Jean family worm. Only few people know about what Yul has and now he is worried because he was told not to trust Zoe and it is very suspicious that she is the one who gives him the medicine. A very touching scene was when Jangwook agrees to do a wedding ceremony for Buyan since they are married. It is important to know that he agreed to the ceremony because he thinks Buyan deserves it after being locked up for so long. But it is not because he loves her, however, he may have her as his wife for her benefit and perhaps so that he can feel better accompanied. But he proved that he cannot forget Mudok and still loves her. The reason why he keeps Jade is because he did not witness Mudok's death. So he is not sure if she really died and he expressed that until he sees with his own eyes that she died, that is, until he sees her body, he will keep hoping that Jade will light up again. When Naksu is at Mudok's grave, she has a memory of when Jangwook gave the jade to Mudok and then her eyes turned blue, then part of the tomb where the jade could be seen collapsed, 
but she didn't touch anything. Naksu was very strange to her that she is not remembering things from Jinyuan and of course she does not know who Naksu is, so she thinks that those memories could be from her childhood. Now then, why did she collapse part of the tomb if she didn't even touch it? This may mean that Buyan's powers inside her are connected to her own soul, so when Naksu regains her memory completely she will be even more powerful because she has the powers of a priestess and the fighting powers and skills of Naksu. The blue eyes represent the confirmation that she is Naksu and that she is just in another body. Although of course it's a bit weird to say, because one sees Naksu's body, but we already know that the body she is in is Buyan's. We realized that what Jin Mu has in that jar is soul incense, the same thing he used in the first season to control Naksu's mind. However, as long as she doesn't have her memory back I don't think it will work for him, but when she gets all her memory back he might be able to hurt her. But there is also the part that she is currently presenting Buyan powers, and in this case it may be that Buyan powers will save her from Jin Mu's hands. The most important thing is that Jin Mu is very suspicious about what is going on and he will not rest until he finds out. Now I want to clarify the relationship status of Naksu and Jangwook in this episode. She is in love with him, but he is still not in love with her, but he does think to give her a chance as a partner even though he still doesn't love her, but he knows she is a good girl. Naksu found out that he really loves Mudok and of course he agreed to marry her to do her a favor to free her, but also for her to help him with her priestess powers. Naksu calls Jangwook with the jade and he gets uncomfortable because she's using that to call him, and he really thought it might be a sign from Mudok. Then she tells him that she is regaining her memory and knows that the two of them were in love a while back. When she says those words, her countenance changes and it's as if Mudok herself is speaking. Jangwook is shocked and most likely with this he can believe that she might actually be Naksu. But I understand that he's not going to believe that quickly, but Naksu will have to give him other evidence and prove more certainly that she's really Naksu. So one of the things is, he can see her blue eyes again and she will tell him something concerning the love promises they made to each other. Such as, holding hands that symbolizes their commitment of love. What do you think of episode 3? What did you like the most? Leave your comments here. If you like this video, like and share it with your friends. We will be uploading videos every day.